Go. Good morning. Today we are going to be talking to you about our course Is Water Pollution a Problem in Grand Bahama? by Adam Bethel, which is not here today, Jason Williams, Nathaniel Russell, Max Gutierrez, and Kyle Roberts. So, what is water pollution, you may be asking? Well, water pollution really is something that occurs when pollutants are discharged directly or indirectly into water bodies without adequate treatment to remove harmful compounds. It's usually chemical, biological, or physical pollution. Uh, these right here, or these three areas, Green Stove, Fort Lucaya, and the waterway. Are the three areas that we chose to sample? We chose to sample these areas out of all the other canals because they seem to have the highest water traffic, and we were trying to see the effects of the high water traffic on the, the way the water got polluted. This is the data we collected. Uh, as you can see, we did three trials of each experiment, pH level, detergent levels, and particle levels. We did three trials for each of the three samples, and we averaged them out in this table down here. And initially, we thought Port Lakaya would be the absolute worst of the three, but Queens Cove leads in pH with an alkaline pH of 10. The detergent levels, well, waterway exceeded everyone by far, and Port Lakaya, again, just like the pH levels, was the least. Same story here, Waterway by far was the highest, followed by Queen's Cove, and surprisingly low was Port Uh these, This is the graph for the data that we just showed you for the pH levels. To do this experiment, we took a pre-measured 10 milliliters of water, put it in a test tube, and then used universal indicator paper to change the color. And depending on the color, we could tell what pH it was. Ideally, what is the desired pH level would be 7, right here. All three samples are above that, meaning that they're all alkaline. And Queen's Cove showed to be the most alkaline of the three. In our test for the detergent levels, what we would do is take another 10 milliliters of water. We would shake it for about 20 seconds and time the amount of time it would take for the bubbles to rise to the top. Waterway, as you can see, by far took the longest, and surprisingly again, Port Lakaya took the least amount of time. In our filter paper test, we filtered again 10 milliliters of water through a filter paper into a glass beaker, and then we took the filter paper out, let it dry for approximately about a day, and we would weigh the mass after. Of course, we weighed the mass before we did the experiment. And as you can see, waterway by far showed the greatest increase. It's about three times as big as Queen's Cove's and 37 times as big as Port Lakai's. Again, Port Lakai's number startles us. This is the environmental analysis. As you can see, there are no laws specific to water pollution as yet. <coughs> Some are in place, but they haven't been approved by the Minister responsible for public health or the Minister responsible for public works. So there are laws in place, but they haven't been approved yet. So this means that when it comes into the environment, there aren't as many. Is that where it was? Laws in place for. All right. As we initially stated, we hypothesized that the Port of Cairo Marina would display the overall worst quality. And in all three experiments, the exact opposite occurred. We believe that possibly the sheer amount of boat traffic that goes through Port Lakaya is far greater than the other two, and that that possibly caused the water to stir, the pollutants to stir up and gather in one specific area, or uh, possibly the waste coming out of the boats or the detergent hadn't been given ample given ample time to properly diffuse evenly amongst the rest of the water, and also access to the other areas in Port Lakai, which we could have sampled, is very scarce. Overall, though, Waterway was the most polluted. Other than Queen's Cove's pH levels, it led the other two categories. 
And from this we can conclude that water pollution really is a problem in Grand Bahama, especially since Queens Cove and Waterway residential areas are the worst out of the three samples. For our evaluation, we could have took in separate areas to sample, such as Nathan said, for the for the Porto Cayo, and also we could have gone into different spots of Waterway or Queens Cove, such as the mouth of the channel. Uh, also, we could have took in different materials for collection, since two of the two of the samples were collected in water bottles, and another one was collected in a pickle jar. Um, waterway was not dried properly in during the during the filtration test as the other two were left out to dry for at least one day uh, we were in a rush and had to leave waterways only for about an hour or two also we could have changed the consistency of shaking the detergents <coughs> during the detergent level test as not all the not all the samples were shaken at with a constant speed or measured at the appropriate time. So that may have changed the, the data a, a little bit from what we collected. Thank you, and this concludes our presentation.